welcome to another session of Hooked on Jesus Online. I'm so happy to see so many of you today. My name is Catherine. Sure, you had a super duper week. Today we're going to learn that God is our creator. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this lovely day. We thank you for bringing us all together today. We thank you for the technology you have blessed us with. Let us learn, Lord, that you are our creator. Anoint us, Lord, as we continue your class today. We ask you to bless all the children gathered here and let them remember that each and every one of them is unique in their own special way. In your precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, I hope all of you are enjoying your RT Wednesdays and Zoomy Saturdays. We, all of us teachers, look so forward to seeing your artwork which comes in every week. And I must congratulate all of you on that fantastic, cute little independence video which you all made. Today we learn about a sample song that King David wrote about how God created us and knows us intimately. David says that God made us wonderfully complex. He sees everything we do. He knows our thoughts and he's with us everywhere we go. He wove each of us together with a special purpose. God is our creator and we must live out our special purpose. Now, let's watch a video on Psalm 139. This video is about a little Lego boy and let's see Psalm 139 through this video. Remember that we are not the owners and creators of this video. We are just using this as an aid to make you understand the lesson better. The actual owners and creator of the video will be mentioned in the link below. Psalm 139 Lord, you have examined me, so you know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know my thoughts before I think them. You know where I go and where I lie down. You know everything I do. Lord, you know what I want to say even before the words leave my mouth. You are all around me, in front of me and behind me. I feel your hand on my shoulder. I am amazed at what you know. It is too much for me to understand. Your spirit is everywhere I go. I cannot escape your presence. If I go up to heaven, you will be there. If I go down to the place of death, you will be there. If I go east where the sun rises, or go to live in the west beyond the sea, even there you will take my hand and lead me. Your strong right hand will protect me. Suppose I wanted to hide from you and said, Surely the darkness will hide me. The day will change to night and cover me. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are the same. You created every part of me. You put me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because you made me in such a wonderful way. I know how amazing that was. You saw my bones grow as my body took shape, hidden in my mother's womb. You saw my body grow each passing day. You knew that I was there. You saw me before I was born. All the days planned for me were written in your book before any of them ever began. Your thoughts are beyond my understanding. They cannot be measured. If I could count them, they would be more than all the grains of sand. And when, when I, I wake, wake up, I am, I am still, still with you. all enjoy that little Lego guy. We know that God is our creator. He made us uniquely in his image. He is exactly like us and no one is exactly like me or you. We don't even look the same, act the same or behave the same. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 139 and say, wow, God made a lot of awesome people right here watching this video. 
God made you just the way you are because He has a special purpose for you. God is our creator. So we live out our lives for His purpose. Let's see what the Bible has to say about how God created us. The Bible isn't an ordinary book. It's God's book for us, full of stories about how God created different people for special purposes. As we explore the world today, we'll discover how carefully He created you. Let's start by talking to God. Let's talk to God every day and thank Him for the unique way in which He has created us. Now there's another video I'd like you to watch. And this video talks about how unique we are and how beautifully we, make, we are and how originally and how origin we are as God made us. Like always, we are not the makers of the video. We are just using this as an aid to understand the lesson better. The owner and the maker of the video will be mentioned in the link below. Hola amigos, it's Carlitos, the Be Brave Monkey. The other day, I learned a new word. The word is unique. Do you know what unique means? It means the only one of its kind, unlike anything else. When someone is unique, no matter how hard you try, you won't find another one exactly like it anywhere. Can you think of some things that are unique? I know two, actually three. First, how about the fingerprint? Did you know that nobody else in the whole wide world has the same fingerprints as you? Or how about a snowflake? Did you know that out of all the snowflakes that ever come down from the sky, no two snowflakes are exactly alike? Every snowflake is unique. But here's the best one, amigos. You know what else is unique? You are. There's nobody else ever created who's exactly like you. When God created us, he made us all different in one way or another. We don't all look the same, act the same, or think the same. We have our own personalities, our own voices, and when something is funny, we even have our own special laugh. <laughs> you and I are one of a kind, so we must be really special to God. The Bible says in Psalm 139:14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That means that God paid very special attention to how he made each one of us. He didn't use a cookie cutter when he made us so we would all come out the same. That would make life pretty boring. Instead, God decided to make us all unique, just the way he wanted us. Just think, your creator decided he only wanted one of you to be in this world. He knew exactly what he was doing when he made you. And one thing is for sure, amigos, God doesn't ever make mistakes. So next time you look in the mirror, thank God that you are unique. And remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Adios, amigos. See you next time. Wasn't that an awe-inspiring video? You are beautifully and wonderfully made in the image of God. He made you and is watching over you and he wants you to blossom into a beautiful creation. Now, let's get ready for some art and craft. Today we are going to make a world with two hands to show that the world rests in God's hands because he is our creator. Hi children. Welcome to another Booked on Jesus Art and Craft class. Today we're going to make the world with two hands holding it to show that Jesus is the creator of this world and that we and everyone living in this world are uniquely made by him. Alright, so I took a circle, I've cut out a circle from a piece of chart paper already. All right, and I'm going to keep the circle aside. You can use any stencil to make the circle. Then I'm going to take a piece of paper, all right, and I'm going to place my hand on this piece of paper, all right, and take a pencil, and I am going to sketch my hand over like this, okay, with the pencil. Now remember, as we are doing this, that none of us, absolutely none of us will have the same shape and size of our hand. It will all be different. Okay? 
So here's my left hand drawn. Then I'm going to put my right hand on the other side of paper and I'm going to trace my right hand as well. Alright? There you go. Tracing my right hand. And there's a little gap here which you can join together. Alright? Right. So you can see I've cut out my hands with the scissors. But remember children, if the scissors is very very sharp, please ask your mummies and daddies or your big brothers and sisters to cut it for you. Alright, so now I have my two hands, alright, and I have my world. Now what I'm going to do is, I am going to take a black marker, a black marker, and I am going to make the outline of my world like this, alright. So just outline your circle like this with your black marker. Outline everything nicely. you see what I'm doing? So I've made an outline. Of my world. So my entire world has a black outline on it. Alright? Can you see? Okay, it has a black light outline on it. Now, with a pencil... I am going to draw the map. If you're a geography student and you're really good in drawing the, uh, drawing the map, please go ahead. Otherwise, what you can do is, you can just simply draw more shapes, right? So, let me draw another shape here. Shape of a continent. Then another shape here. Let me try and draw India. not really looking like India it's come out more like Australia and some other place over here okay some something else over here and you can have a little patch over here as well okay now with your marker with your marker you can just outline this all right outline whatever you've drawn in pencil because this will be pieces of earth pieces of land which god has created okay see how i'm outlining everything pieces of land which god has created and of course there's going to be some coloring involved so don't get this made we're going to do some coloring in a bit all right but first let us outline and highlight the pieces of earth Remember, God is our creator and he created the earth first before he created us. Can you see how this is coming along? Can you see the pieces of land? And all the other pieces outside of this black border is the water. So this is land and the rest is water. Now you don't have to make your world exactly like mine. If you want, you can draw a scenery on your world. Alright? It's how you want to portray your world. Now for the fun and exciting part, we take our crayons. Let's open the crayons. And I want to color the inside of, of the land masses green. And the outside I want to color blue, which is water. Okay? So let me take, we can shade, we can use different shades of green. So I'm going to use this shade of green first and I'm going to start coloring here. Okay. You can do it, you can color it green, brown, however you'd like. Whatever the earth colors are. Remember, land colors are always green and brown, different shades of green. Make sure you color within the lines nicely. So color all of this. Okay. 
try and not leave any white patches. White patches is not a sign of good coloring. And all of us know how to color really well, don't we? So let's all color this. There you go. So all my land parts are all covered. Now I'm going to take a blue crayon and color the water part. Now let me find a nice blue color. So I'm going to use this light blue and I'm going to color all the in-between white spaces. Of the water body. Color all the spaces of the water body. Here you go. Here is the earth all perfect and colored. And you can use it any way you would like. A nice circle we have. Now remember those hands we cut out? Well, here are our hands. I brought them back. Okay. Now remember very very carefully, see what I'm doing. See this part of the hand, the palm part of your hand, I'm going to give it a slight fold. Alright, it's folded slightly, can you see? Yeah, it's folded, so it sits like this almost, alright. Do it with the other hand, give it a slight fold. So it sits like this, okay? So it kind of sits like this, all right? Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take Fabi call and we're gonna put it on the part of our palms which fold, all right? Just take some Fabi call. And then we're gonna put it behind the world, the fold part. We're going to put it behind the world and we're going to stick it down, okay? So I've put Fevicol and I'm going to stick it down. Just make sure you paste it properly. So it's nicely pasted. Hold it down a bit so that it holds, that it sticks nicely, okay? So Fevicol here, just extra Fevicol which came out the second hand okay so I've put Fevicol in this palm and I'm going to put it behind the world and I'm going to make sure that it holds nicely okay and it sticks okay can you see so this is how the world and the hands are supposed to look. Can you see? Like this. Now I want my hands to remain white. But if you want, you can color your hands. And you can color your hands in different, different colors. Because remember, all of us are uniquely made. And no two hands are the same. None of us look alike. Even identical twins look different. So, I hope you enjoyed this class of this art and craft class and I'm looking forward to see all the pictures of all your artwork which you have done. Thank you children for attending yet another class of Hooked on Jesus Online. It's so wonderful to see so many of you today. Before we go, let us end in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for this wonderful class. We thank you and we praise you for this technology. We thank you and praise you that you are our creator and you've made us beautifully and wonderfully in your image and that each and every one has a unique purpose to serve you. Help us realize what that unique purpose is, Lord. Come into our lives and whisper to us as to what you'd like us to do to serve you better. Protect, Lord. Protect us, O oh Lord, all of us who are on this video today and all our friends and all our families and cover us with the precious blood of your Lamb. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.
Thank you so much for joining us today. If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.